Hey guys, and welcome to another blueprint. Uh, this time it's the DMD Retro Supercar Challenge. And let me pull that up while I give you the f data. It's a road racing circuit, S1900 Retro Supercars, Summer, Sunset, Cloudy Post Rain. Uh, two laps, 16.7 kilometers per lap, 33.4 total. Uh, lap t race time uh, roughly 5 minutes 10 seconds per lap and 10 minutes 30 seconds total and of course all of this will be in the description below the video so let's see how bad I do Faxife uh, yeah Faxa is a Danish beer So, it's a beer, unlike, you know, American beer, Budweiser, etc. American beer is like sex in a canoe, fucking close to water. Anyway, uh, these are my settings. So, let's see, let me show you the map here. Here you go. So, a little bit twisty at the beginning, hard turn there, very twisty when we get up to the festival, another hard turn, and then nice and easy back to the start point. Easy peasy. And it starts out a little bit wet, but as the race progresses, it's going to dry up a little bit. At least it did the first time I raced this. Um, and it's going to get dark as well. And I suspect, I can't think of any uh, retro supercar that, is, uh, that would be, uh, be able to beat this, to be honest. Uh, 2005 Ford GT, that is just a seriously ridiculously fast car. And I'm not, maybe I have, I don't think I have the perfect tune for it. Uh, right now, but it is certainly able to kick ass, that's for sure. And if you drive this with manual gearbox and shit, uh, I, uh, I can't think of anything that'll be able to keep up. But of course, I do not drive with manual cameras. So you should be able to beat me. Easy. See? Especially when I make mistakes like that. Hard turn coming up. And I was actually going to move that checkpoint, uh, but when I went in to edit the track, it turns out the same keys that uh, the game uses to forward one checkpoint starts the radio. And, well, so, yeah, no. 
so you're gonna have to live with that one checkpoint. Why do I say that? Well, because it, Fords are Fords and Audi seem to be way, way overpowered compared to many of its rivals. At least in some instances. It looks really good. Get it just a tiny bit wrong, and it looks like you're a complete moron. So, yeah, I look like a complete moron a lot of the time. I know, I don't care. My feelings aren't hurt with that knowledge. I mean, I never claim to be the best at anything because I know I'm not. So, why pretend? And sure, I may be better than some of you guys, but well, once you've driven 9,000 races, then, you know, You'll probably look a lot better than I do. <clears throat> and yeah, I actually, I'm close to 9,000 races, which is insane. I need to get a life of some sort. I've heard that other people have this thing where they socialize and stuff like that, like, outside. And, well, aim. why do you want to do that? I would require that I make an effort and, you know, no.
God damn it. That was just bad, 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 bad driving. <sighs> Kind of annoying when you're used to being able to control your fingers and at random points like lightning will shoot up and down one arm and yeah you can't control anything suddenly. Makes it a little bit hard to be precise. Come to think of it, there is one car that will be able to beat this one. The Bugatti EB110. If you drive with manual gears, I'm pretty sure that is the fastest F1 car in, in the game. Uh, for road racing anyway. Because if I remember correctly, you can actually make it... Uh, uh, Tune it with the Veyron engine, which makes it ridiculously fast. Uh, but grip, aha, not so much. So good steering wheel setup, and yeah, that's definitely the car to use. And there we are. So, the car I was using was the 2005 Ford GT, and the tune I was using was this one, the Trial. And there you go. And remember, if you use one of my tracks or one of my tunes, please remember to like them, and the same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.